Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a spring makeup tutorial. I tried to keep this on the neutral side of spring, but it got kind of carried away and now it's a little glam. But honestly, I think this is the makeup that I'm going to do for my prom. Because it's like glam and it's fun, you know? This can totally be toned down, you can tone it up even more. Whatever you guys want to do, just take a little inspiration off of this look. I think this is totally wearable. I'm going to my boyfriend's later and I'm going to wear this there because I think it's glam and I feel great in this. And I think that's what I want you guys just to take away from this tutorial is whatever you guys do, feel great in it, feel confident, and just have fun. It's makeup at the end of the day, it can all come off. So if you guys want to find out how to get this look, then please keep on watching. As always, to begin, I'm going to start off by priming my face. This is the Nivea Men's Post Shave Replenishing Balm. Just putting this all over my skin and blending it in until it gets nice and tacky. Moving on, I'm going to try a new foundation. I know I just put up a powder foundation routine, but that doesn't mean I'm like done with liquids. I'm still just trying out a bunch of stuff. This is the Bequa Aqua Luminous Foundation or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but I'll leave it down below and I'm just uh, applying this with a beauty blender. I have to say initially um, it wasn't as luminous and dewy as I thought which is good because I don't like those foundations so why I bought this I don't really know but I don't really like dewy foundations so I really liked it. I'll probably use it many many more times. Primary my eyes this is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is just a good staple. Put this on with a brush, blend it out with my finger, you know the drill. And then I just go in with a powder to set it. This is the NARS Sale Day Luminous Powder Foundation in Light 2. Now I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette and I'm first going to take this big peach color on top and throw this in the crease as my transition shade. This can be super messy. I'm seriously just throwing it on in there to get a little dimension and a little bit of blending power to my eye. Now I'm going to go in with the Chocolate Palette by Too Faced and I'm going to mix together a light pink and a more sparkly darker pink. I'm going to have all the names listed down below and I'm just putting this on top of the peach shade that we used to blend it up towards the brow. Then I'm going to go in with that more girly pink shade. I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye as well as the inner corner of my eye to kind of create a bridge and sort of like halo look. So I'm just really throwing this in there. I'm not really worried that much about keeping it precise because this sort of just supposed to be an effortless thrown together kind of look. And then I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild palette and this bright orange. If you have the Morphe 350, you can totally use this palette for the entire look. I think it's going to be a great palette for this look. I just don't have it so I got to improvise. I'm just popping those colors on the outer and inner corner and then after I have them on there where I like, I'm just going to blend them out with a brush. Now I'm going in with Pink Champagne by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As you can see, I only have four Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows, but they are amazing. I'm obsessed with them. And I'm just patting this color in the center of my lids, and I always think that it works better when I pat it on with my finger as opposed to a brush. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of glitter. This is the OCC Glitter. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely hate these glitters because they're so hard to apply. But I applied it today with Fix Plus on my finger and it stayed on for a long, 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 long time and it was a lot easier to apply. So try using your finger and try it with Fix Plus. I'm still working on how to use these the best because I think they're beautiful colors, but they're just so difficult to apply. It's like arts and crafts glitter, it feels like. I'm going to go in with the shade by Anastasia. I think it's called Glisten. I'll link it down below if I'm wrong, but I'm just popping this underneath the brow. Then I'm going to line my upper lash line just a little bit, no wing, nothing dramatic, keeping it small, keeping it thin. This is just to make my lashes thicker. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And then I'm going to go in with mascara, coat that a few times before I go in with my lashes. And the lashes today that I'm using are the Ardell Wispies. I have to apologize because I'm just, I was just, I had a brain fart. I forgot to put mascara on my other eye. So when I put my lashes on, my right eye, which to you is my left eye, was definitely darker. And also when I put on my right lashes, I put them on going straight instead of going up. So they, they were a bit wacky, wonky. I'm sorry about that. I'm human. I'm going to fix it. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm really sorry. So just try to ignore that. It's really bothering me. I didn't notice it when I was doing my makeup or else I would have fixed it, but I noticed it when I was editing. 
Here I'm just going in with some concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in number 15. And then I switch over to the YSL Touche Clay um, highlighting pen. This is like the glitter version. I just use it because I bought it and I need to use it up. Then I'm just gonna go in and mega quickly blend this all out together. This is the black beauty blender. It's my favorite. It's the softest in my opinion. I'm just a big fan. And then last time I used these foundations, everyone got their panties in a twist because it was way too highlighted. I personally love a huge under eye highlight. I think it's very flattering. But um, I toned it down a little bit for you guys today so you guys can all calm down a little bit. This is just the NARS Luminous Powder Foundation in um, medium to Santa Fe and I put that under my eyes and then this is the NARS Laguna bronzer and this is just warming up my complexion a little bit. Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit, honestly the best thing to ever happen to my life. I'm so happy I came across this. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'm just using the A23 brush and um, just, I was going to say sprinkling this along my cheekbones. I guess you could say that. This is Super Continental by MAC. Any sort of peachy blush is going to work. Just popping this on the apples. And then I'm just going to go in and finish off those eyes. So I'm first taking that orange shade from the Wet n Wild palette and putting this underneath my eyes. And then I'm just going to go back in with that girly Barbie doll pink and focus this towards the center of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with a liquid eyeliner. This is by CoverGirl and I love doing this. It's putting little dots on your lower lash line. I don't know, for me it like totally opens up my eye, gives it a cool, cool look. I just really been loving doing it. It makes my lower lash line look a lot fuller too. I just love it. And then obviously I'm going to go in and highlight those inner corners with the Gleam Kit by Anastasia. And line my waterline with a white eyeliner. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in, uh, oh my gosh, I forget what it's called. I'm going to have it like down below, it's just white. This is my favorite one. Now of course I go in with some mascara. This is a waterproof mascara. I think it's by Face. I don't really know. But you can see that those dots like really add a fun extra element. I just love it. Here I go in with the Loot. Blue face, Too Faced Lip Insurance Primer. And this just makes sure that my lipstick, lip gloss, doesn't have any creasing to it. And then I'm just going to quickly line my lips with Dervish Lip Liner by MAC. This is my favorite lip liner. And then this is the Tarte Lip Gloss Lipstick Duo. I got this at Ulta. So if you guys don't know where to get it, it's at Ulta. I love this. It's in the shade Basic and super pigmented, super creamy. I love the combo. So yeah, after this, you are all done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure that you guys subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. The subscribe button is right down there. I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe. Also, I just want to say that I will be going to Playlist Live Orlando, and I actually do have a meetup, so I'd love to meet you guys. I'm very excited about that. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you all in my next one.